Hey guys, Dabu7. I want to point out this pattern that you see right here. This spiral pattern that is emanating from the island that you see right here. And this is from a video that I put out a few years ago. It looks like this pattern has reemerged. And it's these things that we look for when we're trying to catch some kind of activity when it comes to affecting the atmosphere, maybe even the upper ionosphere, heating it up, or other things. There were massive waves coming off this island. Uh, I'll leave a link so you guys can check out this video in its entirety, but it was rather interesting when I came across it. But now, look here. You see there? We have another one that isn't so much swirling off of one spot like the other one did. The other one came off the coast of Africa over here. This is going all the way up through the Gulf, as you can see, and all the way up through here. And if you look closely, it even goes into the Great Lakes. This burst, it's like a huge pulse or a big wave that just kind of comes through. And this is massive because it covers the area going all the way across the globe, north and south. And if you pay attention, it looks like the waves that emanate, these are bowed like this, like a rainbow going this way. Down here, they are the opposite. And it almost looks like this burst of energy is emanating from right around here, somewhere in this neck of the woods, close to the border of these two countries, maybe in Argentina. We've talked about all the quake activity in Chile, Peru, the animal die-offs on the coast here recently, and now we have this massive sonic burst, this big wave being caught, emanating from this region. Now, that easily went right on down to Antarctica, and right on up toward the North Pole. Now we can take a look at a couple different maps. That's the global map. Showing it come up right there. If you look at this one. You'll see it right there. And you'll see it up in the Great Lakes. And this is the water map. This is only showing what's reflected off the water not on land. So this wave that goes across crosses all this land, but you're not seeing it until it hits the water again and it's reflected. But the wave is picked up and what I find rather interesting is that this is going by the intensity you can see here from low to high and you can match it to the color. But it changes. If you if you look at it very slowly, you can see that even the temperature in it changes in certain spots. Now you have to slow this down and really look at it real real good to see what I'm saying. But here's a shot of it coming through the Gulf and right on up the East Coast. And when it does this, this whole area clears out. Now, it is also at this point that this exact same region that this, whatever it is, blasted, that you're looking at right here, this is where the jet is dipping down, right here. And now this blasts as soon as that front hit Florida, and that's what spawned up all the tornadoes and everything that hit in Florida. But whatever it is, some kind of a massive anomaly that has been picked up on the radar on several different radars so and here's another shot you see it there so I wanted to point it out let it be known 
sometimes in situations like this we get lucky and catch things that um, show that something big is going on. Other times, things can be explained. But as of right now, this one remaining a mystery until we have solid proof of what it is, and we may never. One thing it is for sure is a massive wave anomaly that could prove that they're doing something here, and I'm not sure what, but like I said, the heat, the heat signature changes in it, and it goes across the whole globe from north to south, emanating from what looks to be this region. There is a whole mountain range that comes down through right here. Could be situated right there on top. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu 7.